What, what would you say life has taught you the most? Self growth, really. I think I'm, 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 I do feel um, more of a spiritualist than, than I was, you know, um, 20, 30 years ago. Um, I do believe, but at the same time, um, I think experiences are there to, to learn something from. My athletics career was wonderful, but I far more enjoyed the journey of it than actually winning the gold medals. I mean, the gold medals are only there to say that you actually achieved, but the real achievement was the journey. And um, for me, you know, self-growth is the most important thing. We can always learn to the day we die. So, and giving back and helping others, so important. And how about you, Chris? What has life taught you so far? Well, I love that idea that, that uh, Fatma's talking about, about being and becoming, that, you know, you don't stand st static. I mean, it was Muhammad Ali who said, the person at 50 who thinks and he's the same as he was at 20 has wasted 30 years. And so just hearing Fatima talking about that growth, being and becoming, and embracing each moment because... They have a beauty of their own. So, like Fatima, I had a phenomenal athletic career. I've had a beautiful life, but I enjoy my here and now. You know, I've got a, a lovely family. I play golf. I come up and I see you on the TV. We I'm just loving life. my life. So, you know, I, I like that idea, Fatima. Continual growth and development. Uh, the greatest Continue. privilege. Can I just say one more thing? Go That's for it, right. Fatima. I, mean, I, don't, I would just like, I know my friends watching and my son and my family, so I'd just like to say hello to all of them. Susan, Joanne and my son Ryan and obviously my mother Margaret. So i um, just like to say thank you for being a support to me over the years. It's uh, not often you get that opportunity to thank people. So if they're, if they're still awake, that is, thank you very much. And I should be off now to bed because it is well past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late for an athlete, isn't it? Uh, well, you're clearly an amazing mum and an amazing daughter. Fatima Whitbread, do come and see us in the studio next time you're in London. Fatima Whitbread, MBE. And my thanks to the brilliant Chris Akabusi for joining that conversation.